In this video, we're going to revisit something from an earlier video, uh, extensive form games. So an extensive form game is defined on a tree where our nodes represent uh, decisions made by players, and these nodes can live in information sets. So for example, if there was a dotted line between these two nodes, that would mean that Celine had the same amount of information uh, at either. In other words, Celine doesn't know whether or not Bob has chosen comedy or sports. And then on the least of the trees, we have the utilities. Two important definitions, sequential rationality. Now, this is basically the assumption that everyone acts rationality at every information set. So given the information I have a particular node, I will try and uh, optimize my, my utility. And backward induction then uses this assumption of sequential rationality to start at the end of the tree and make the assumption that everyone acts rationality and slowly, slowly remove all dominated strategies. And this allows us to obtain a Nash equilibrium. So here's a game. Now this is a, a very different type of extensive form game we've seen so far in so much that we are allowing our strategies to be continuous. And that's how we denote it. So we have a continuous strategy denoted by an arc. So the leader will choose some number A, and we're going to say real numbers A, and the follower will then choose another number, uh, another real number uh, B. And then the utilities are given here. So the leader will get a utility of 2AB minus 8B squared plus 3A, and the follower AB minus B squared. Now, because of sequential rationality, we know that at this information set here, the follower will choose a B that optimizes this. Because of the form of this quadratic, we know that we can simply um, differentiate this and we will get the optimal, uh, the optimal value that maximizes that inverted parabola. And so we see that B star is equal to A divided by 2. So no matter, for any given value of A that the leader chooses, the follower will choose A divided by 2. Now, in essence, we can remove a bunch of dominated strategies. And so the tree reduces to this as long as, in every occurrence of B, we replace with B star that we know. So in other words, we're removing all the dominated strategies, and we get an expression like this. And again, now the leader is just going to try and optimize this expression. It's again an inverted parabola, so we have minus a squared plus 3a, we set that to 0, and we get um, a star is equal to 2 thirds. And from there, we have the Nash equilibria, which is a star b star is equal to 2 thirds, 2 sixths, sorry, 2 thirds, 1 third, because uh, remember b star was equal to a half of a star. 